Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens is another book choice that you have where I don't have a hard copy. You have to access it in study sync. Oliver Twist is born in a workhouse in 1830s England. His mother, whose name no one knows, is found on the street and dies just after Oliver's birth. Oliver spends the first nine years of his life in a badly run home for young orphans and then is transferred to a workhouse for adults. After the other boys bully Oliver into asking for more gruel or more food at the end of a meal, Mr. Bumble, the parish beetle, offers five pounds to anyone who will take away the boy from the warehouse. Oliver narrowly escapes being apprenticed to a brutish chimney sweep and is eventually apprenticed to a local undertaker. When the undertaker's other apprentice makes disparaging comments about Oliver's mother, Oliver attacks him and incurs the wrath of the undertaker. Desperate, Oliver runs away at dawn and travels toward London. I want to read you a little excerpt from this book. It cannot be expected that this system of farming would produce any very extraordinary or luxuriant crop. Oliver Twist's ninth birthday found him a pale, thin child, somewhat diminutive in stature and decidedly small in circumference. But nature or inheritance had implanted a good, sturdy spirit in Oliver's breast. It had had plenty of room to expand thanks to the spare diet of the establishment, and perhaps to this circumstance may be attributed his having any ninth birthday at all. Be this as it may, however, it was his ninth birthday, and he was keeping it in the coal cellar with a select party of two other young gentlemen, who, after participating with him in a sound thrashing, had been locked up for atrociously presuming to be hungry when Mrs. Mann, the good lady of the house, was unexpectedly startled by the apparition of Mr. Bumble, the beetle, striving to undo the wicket of the garden gate. So if you want to hear more about Oliver Twist and his life as an orphan in the 1830s, read Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens.